Parker, who was rescued from the home of a hoarder, is taking flight on social media. Nub is the one-legged parakeet. was among 368 birds rescued from a home in Aurora, and now he's on Facebook. The woman who adopted Nubs is using his story to raise money to help the aviary that is now caring for the rest of the rescued flock. Craig Wall joins us now with more on where the other birds are and the woman behind the effort to help them, Craig. Yeah, Bob, some of the birds were adopted by private owners. The rest, more than 340 of them, are living at the Washington Park Zoo in Michigan City, Indiana. But the zoo's indoor aviary needs some upgrades before the fall when the birds have to move back inside. So Nubs and his owner are working to raise the money to make that happen. This is Nubs. Meet Nubs, the one to two year old parakeet who survived living in a home with 500 other birds and who now lives with Kristen Ludwig. When he first came into the shelter, um, he, was, he was cold and he was shivering and he was covered in mold, um, but he was so energetic and he was so excited to be around people and he, you could just tell he was different. And fortunate, even though he only has one leg due to inbreeding in the hoarder's home where he was found. It kind of inspired me the idea that a bird, you know, that any creature that has been through something tough um, would then give life a, a second chance. It was last October that officials in Aurora, with the help of a bird rescue group, removed 368 birds from David Skibertis' home. Another 150 dead birds were found inside. Most of the rescue birds eventually ended up at the Washington Park Zoo in Michigan City, Indiana. When I looked at the aviary and I thought, wow, the zoo just did an amazing thing. They took in hundreds of birds, they need a lot of care, and they deserve the best, in my mind. So Ludwig combined her love for rescued animals. She has several dogs, as well as a bunny and other birds, together with her product development background, to write and self-publish a children's book. Nubs' story, written from his point of view, is being sold to raise money for the zoo. I'm the lady with the ponytail. That's me. So it uh, is all about his life in the shelter and then ultimately um, coming home and taking a fresh start at, uh, at life. In addition to the book, Ludwig is also selling t-shirts as part of her fundraising effort. Are you a bird nut? I am not a bird nut. <laughs> I'm a life nut. <laughs> I believe in bringing in an animal that needs a fresh start helping rehabilitate them, and then giving them a job, which is most of the time working with at-risk children. And in fact, Nubs is a certified therapy dog, Kristen tells me, but unfortunately, due to health reasons, he won't be able to do that job. Uh, how much money is Ludwig hoping to raise? Well, she's hoping to raise about three grand. So far, she's got about $600 of that raised. And what about the hoarder? Oh, uh, yeah, well, he goes back to court in September. He's still facing that hoarding charge. He could go to jail for up to six months and be fined up to $1,500, but Ludwig says she doesn't want either of those things to happen to him. Yeah, don't imagine so, Greg. Thank you, Robin.